Welcome to Top Notch Online TV, a paragon of excellence. Today with you is teacher Rispa, a teacher from PCA Kikuyu High School, a teacher of English and Literature, an examiner as well as an author. We were tackling uh, the short story still, and we were looking at Philemon Liambo's December. In the previous episodes, we've been able to look at the plot analysis as well as characters and characterization. If you missed out on any episode, you can always feel free to go to YouTube and find Top Notch Online TV. The episodes are available. We are further going into the understanding of the book and it is time that we looked at themes and after the themes, we can go ahead and look at one or two essay questions. I'll begin with the theme of mental illness. Mental illness is an issue that has been dwelt on by Philemon Liambo. The author looks at schizophrenia. We are learning that the character December is suffering from schizophrenia, a mental condition, as can be told that she is undergoing uh, episodes. Sometimes she's okay, other times it gets, it's, it gets out of hand and she even becomes violent. Still, as you are speaking about mental illness, schizophrenia, we shall be looking at the details about it. For example, how, uh, wh what was the onset of her mental illness? We are being told that she had been a stellar student, an excellent one per se, and she was destined for greatness. She was on her way to winding up with her secondary education and later on they were hoping that she would join a teacher's college be trained to become a teacher which was not to be uh, to be to see the light of day the story a story is told that december used to tend to her mother's uh, vegetable garden and then one day as she was raising the hoe in an effort to dig around the vegetables, to weed the vegetables, she had accidentally struck September on the head. And the writer goes ahead and he's very particular to say this version of the story was more acceptable. The fact that this version was more acceptable, it goes back to the fact that there is another version which is the truth. Therefore, the version you're being given is simply concealment. There's, there is some information that is being concealed. And now that I've said that, schizophrenia operates between episodes, an episode of being okay, and then an episode on the extreme. Once she sees blood gushing from the with the place she had struck on the head of September, she goes ahead and she's still the one who is administering first aid to her brother. She tears her shirt and she tries to she tries to stop the bleeding. Another illustration as we are talking about mental illness, we see that December is confined to a psychiatric ward. She is in the mental hospital. And in that mental hospital, at times she tends to be violent. When September visits her, we see that she had a swollen lip and she looked like she had been through a wall. To further reinforce on the fact that she might have been violent, we are seeing that the windows, the bars, the bars on the window had been reinforced. They had made, they had been made a farmer per se. Another thing about, uh, uh, about December's schizophrenia, we are learning that first of all, it began like this normal cut fights with classmates. You are disagreeing with your classmates. Later on, she started to walk naked in the streets. This was now uh, uh, this, was, this was speaking to the fact that the condition was worsening. The grandfather already believes that the condition is as a result of witchcraft. Therefore, he takes her to a traditional healer, hoping to avert the situation. It is not only 
December who's suffering from mental illness, we are learning that it is hereditary. There's still one among the characters who is the brother to Ezekiel, Ezekiel, their grandfather. The brother had been also a victim or a candidate for schizophrenia. He started by forgetting himself. Later on, he even disappears from home and they find him a month later where they rescue him. That is it about schizophrenia. Uh, we are also learning, uh, we are also looking at yet another theme, a theme by the name of superstition. We've talked about superstition, we've defined it a lot of times. Under superstition, let's look at illustrations such as the grandfather cannot accept the true nature of schizophrenia. According to him, someone must have bewitched December because it happened when December was almost at her best, when she was about to make something out of her life. They believe that a natural disease is as a result of bewitching, even believing that uh, we, uh, bewitching exists is an example of superstition. Another example to uh, speak to the fact that there is the issue of superstition in the book. We are also looking at the brother to the father. The brother to the father, his name is Joseph. Joseph, in fact, Joseph. Now Joseph, he had also disappeared from home for about a month. Then it had come to Ezekiel in a dream that the brother was somewhere eating chicken. And when he told people the dream that he had, the people went and the exact place that they had been told he will be, they found him over there. But then because the grandfather associates the eating of chicken with the cause of schizophrenia, the grandfather decides to forbid December from ever eating chicken. Therefore, whenever they were to visit December, they could carry for her chips, they could carry for her mutton or even beef, but never chicken. He had some kind of bias against chicken. He used to associate it with schizophrenia. Still on the theme of superstition, we are seeing that after Ezekiel had had that dream, they had taken their brother Joseph to a traditional healer. And then Ezekiel, the grandfather, had to be summoned to go to the, witch, uh, to the healer and tell him in his dream what had he seen their brother eating and of course, he had confided that the brother was eating chicken. And from then onwards, we are seeing that December is forbidden from eating chicken. Still on superstition. Before the grandfather could accept that this one was a natural disease, the grandfather had taken December to a, uh, to a traditional healer, trying to make the situation better. He had the anticipation the girl would heal. It is only after the girl uh, had not healed when she was later taken to a psychiatric, uh, she was confined to a psychiatric hospital. As can be seen, as can be seen when September visits, he says that the sister had been in that psychiatric ward for the last six months. Therefore, when traditional healing could not work is when they reverted to, uh, to, uh, to modern medicine. We have yet another theme, a theme that you're calling concealment or concealing information. When you're looking at concealment, the characters in this book do not tell us the whole truth as it appears. For instance, you're seeing that, for instance, we are seeing that the reason as to why December does not eat chicken. At first, the grandfather wishes to keep it a secret. In fact, he hides under the guise that these are the ways of the old. Our traditions, he, he hides under the guise of tradition. But then the narrator is wondering, he cannot really understand. December is not allergic to chicken. Why can't she eat chicken? Later on is when we are putting, uh, one, uh, we are putting two and two together and we are able to see, is when we are putting two and two together and we are able to understand that he refuses her eating chicken because 
his own brother who had characteristics of schizophrenia was eating chicken in a dream. We are still talking about the theme of concealment. People are not forthright with the truth. Another example is September visiting the psychiatric ward. When he visits the psychiatric ward, the sister is very excited. The sister is looking forward to the following day that the brother might come back for yet another visit. And the brother, instead of uh, making it very clear that I won't be visiting tomorrow because he'll be burying grandfather, first of all, he doesn't even tell her of their grandfather's demise. And he still goes ahead and promises he would visit her, but in his mind he knows that he won't even make it. That is another, yet another Yet another avenue where we are seeing someone concealing uh, information. The last illustration under the theme of concealment, we are also seeing that under the theme of concealment, we are finally seeing that the circumstances surrounding the accident with the hall where December had struck the brother on the head. The information is not clearly volunteered. From what we are supposed to have concluded, December was experiencing one among her episodes of schizophrenia, and in that episode, she had struck the brother, but then they tried to conceal it and bring it out that it was a mere accident. We are further moving on with the themes. Another theme we are looking at is alienation. Alienation is when someone is detached from their own People that are supposed to be close, you're supposed to be embracing some of your culture, but then you're not. You are detached from your own people, is what you're calling alienation. Some people are alienated to an extent that they are, their, their mentality is embracing that which is foreign. A case in quote, the nurse had been reluctant to allow, the nurse had been reluctant to allow September to visit his sister. Later on, despite uh, the intervention from the guard, she also got to know that the guy had come from UK, and you see that this one softens her, uh, this one softens her stand, and she's now ready to allow September to visit the sister. This brings her out as someone who is mentally alienated. Something that uh, sounds foreign, like someone going to UK, it sounds like some something uh, uh, something welcome. Another thing we are seeing about alienation, you're detached from your own, we are seeing it in September. September had been away for about uh, some years, some number of years, and when he's coming back, even some kind of terminology he is using is detached from his own people. He goes ahead and he's referring to fries. They've not told us what they refer to them as, but the fact that he referred to uh, he referred to them as chips already marked him out as a foreigner. In Namibia, they did not call it that. Therefore, they were. He opened the uh, the room towards in a difference because he is not from within. That is what you are seeing about alienation. We are also seeing another theme, a theme that you are going to call in a difference. Indifference is uh, with reference to an attitude, a don't care kind of attitude. People are acting like they don't care. Among the examples you shall get in the theme of indifference, number one, you are going to look at the waitress. The waitress, she had already established that September was, uh, was uh, already alienated. He was no longer... Uh, a native of their country. Therefore, she was treating him with indifference. She gave him that kind of look that reminded him of the grandfather when he was sporting an inkling of idiocy. And she goes ahead and asks him, won't you order something? The kind of attitude from the waitress towards September brings out indifference. Another example of indifference can be seen from the nurse. We see that uh, December had gone through the checks, the security check. Now it was his time to visit the sister, but then he was late. 
the nurse goes ahead the kind of attitude she gives him she's pointing at the clock and she's not even willing to relent she does not care and when we are being told when september was trying so much to maintain his uh, his courteous nature it was because he was trying to avoid the indifference but still the indifference from the nurse was seen she's even calling the security on him that is it about the theme of indifference we further go ahead and look at one more theme a theme that you are going to call family relations when you're looking at family relations we are looking at how are people relating in this story of december we are looking at uh, the relationships they are as far beyond the nuclear going into the extended in our most of our of our settings in fact an urban setting we usually relate at a nuclear level where it is the father the mother and the children but now in this book you're seeing that relationships extended beyond the nuclear and touched on the extended family we are looking at for example there is a relationship between the grandchildren and their grandfather even when december falls ill it is the grandfather who is most concerned that is what we are seeing another thing is the relationship has extended even to the extent of mentioning the brother to the grandfather that is a proof that the relations extend beyond the nuclear to go into the extended we are also looking at family relations with this family relations we are majorly looking at we are uh, majorly looking at the male characters the male characters are the ones who have uh, they are the ones who have a hold of the family december's mother has been mentioned but not much has been said about her we're just being told the way she has suffered because of the uh, because of the illness that begot the daughter and this illness was making her to age faster that is family relation characterized by a lot of care family relation still we are looking at how does december relate with the brother we are seeing that they are relating at a close level the brother comes back from uk but he still spares some time to come and also visit december that is it about the themes and hoping with the themes we are better positioned uh, towards understanding the story themes aside we would now want to have an example of an essay and if time allows two essays that are based on philemon liambo's tale of december and the question will be as follows my first question will be as follows mental illness affects not only the victims but also the people close to them support this statement using clear illustrations from philemon liambo's december first of all before you can go ahead and answer a question look at your understanding of the question look at the keywords they are talking about mental illness so in specific we want to talk about either joseph or we are talking about december there are the people in this story that are suffering from mental illness and you are being told it not only affects the individual therefore one among the points or even two among the points they can border on the individual how has mental illness affected an individual on the other side we also look at how else does the mental illness affect the family members as well as we were discussing the themes we were able to establish that there were some family relations and sometimes a problem is not only a one person's problem but it becomes the problem of a family because they they relate beyond the nuclear and extend it to their and extend it to the extended family as a way of introduction we try to interpret the question what have you understood before i can read there before i can read the one that is in our book 
we we can go ahead to a general type of introduction that I can come up with. And even the one who's viewing, you can also come up with your own type of introduction as long as it is related to the question at hand. We can come up with an introduction such as when an individual is suffering from mental illness, it not only becomes the problem of the, of the individual, but the family as well. The family has to take care of the individual not to come to any harm, as well as pay medical expenses for this individual. Therefore, it becomes a family affair. That is simply a general type of introduction. And we go back to the book that says, when someone suffers from mental instability, the effects of this is felt by the patient as well as those who are related to them. Just as I had interpreted the question, a point can fall on the individual, a point can also fall on a person closely related to the individual. On to my first point. And a point is identifiable. You identify a point using the topic sentence. It carries with it the answer. And we are saying, to begin with, December loses her freedom. December loses her freedom. She is now confined in a mental institution, the psychiatric ward. The windows have even been uh, fastened so that she cannot even escape. Now that she looks like she has a tendency of being violent. She's no longer going to school like the other people. She is losing her freedom. Now we are seeing that is one among the effects of mental illness, but on an individual. How does this mental illness affect December? That is where our first point has answered. To my second point, you're saying December's sickness affects her, her mother greatly. Our second point now borders towards the fact that an illness, when someone is suffering an illness, the family members are suffering as well. The illustration goes on to say, their mother is broke, uh, heartbroken by the daughter's abrupt illness. She aged prematurely. You age until you look like you are not of that age. You're looking older than you really are. And it is now the stress that is, it is now December's illness that is causing stress on the mother. We are being told the daughter's sickness had aged her faster than her husband's untimely demise. The death of a family member is something that, we, uh, that uh, sends people into mourning. But then the mother feels even worse that has been brought about by December's illness. On to the third point. The third point is saying... September's, September, December's brother is also affected by his sister's illness. He had felt he had lost his sister and he had so many unanswered question, questions. September is affected. According to uh, some reading, if you're going back to a silent song, if you're going back to the story of December, there's a place he is lamenting and he says life moved on. But then December's life remained static. We are seeing that it is also affecting the brother. Even when the brother was in the, the brother intended to buy uh, chips to take uh, for his visitation, we see that his mind drifted for quite some time. The brother is, the thoughts of December are engulfing September's mind. Therefore, we are also seeing there is still, a, there is still some kind of effect on the family. The last point, lastly, the grandfather is disappointed and affected emotionally for losing his favorite granddaughter. The grandfather is emotionally affected because he had thought his favorite granddaughter would amount to something. She might become a teacher. She was destined for greatness, but then he cannot even accept the fact that it is a natural occurrence. He goes ahead and he is blaming it on witchcraft. That is, we are seeing the grandfather is affected. The grandfather also goes ahead and he tries to put in some measures. The grandfather goes ahead and 
he is even finding for the granddaughter a traditional healer, hoping to make the situation better. That shows it is not only the problem of December, but the problem of the whole family as a whole. We are also looking at mental illness affects not only the victims, but also the people close to them. I've only looked at four points, but you can still think of other points away from the AC. We still can look at the fact that family members are suffering under a case in court. We can talk about it makes uh, family members susceptible to violence. And you give the example of September when he was struck by the whore when the sister was uh, undergoing one of her episodes. And he developed a scar, a scar that he sports up to date. That is an effect of uh, uh, schizophrenia that is on an individual, but then it seeps, the effects are seeping onto a family member. We have at least four or even more points. As you are coming to an end, we always have to conclude and I'll just leave you with the conclusion that comes from the book. And the book says, truly, we are now affirming, we are agreeing with what the question had said. Truly, when someone close to us suffers a mental illness, it affects all of us and not just the patient as has been seen in the case of December. Therefore, and then away from that affirmation, the conclusion continues to say, Therefore, love, patience, and care for these people is paramount. We're also given another type of conclusion, but they're infused in one paragraph. We're also given a point of advice. And up to this point, I hope that you have gained a good understanding, a better understanding. You have gained a better understanding of the book. You can always catch up on our episodes. They are available, Top Notch Online TV, on YouTube. Until next time, it is a goodbye.